you send a paper off and you're really pleased, you think, this is a paper, I like this, I, 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 you, know, you, you've, you and your lab have put much thought and you know, really like this, and, and it gets reviews that are sort of not very knowledgeable, and, and, uh, and, you know, and then the edit journal says, no, we won't do this, and uh, we won't publish this or something. And, you know, so, so uh, I find that quite hard. <laughs> and so, um, so, and I've noticed it falls into a sort of pattern now with me, which is that, uh, first of all, I'm really wild with well, rage, right? And the people in my lab are really upset and dis you know, sort of disappointed, right? So we sort of go through that, you know, and you know that there's no point in even planning anything at that point. <laughs> you just sort of had this it's a whole sort of rage against how stupid the reviewers were, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> and then sort of, and then, but, but I'll tell you what you, you learn from this. So first of all, you, you always learn that you could have described something more clearly, right? No matter how many people you gave it to to read, there's always some reviewer who didn't understand it, and you realize you better explain it better. Okay, so you actually take from that and you say, okay, I think this person was really stupid, but if that was just three reviewers, think of how many other people around the world won't understand this either, if finally this thing gets pay published, so we better do a better job of actually rewriting this. So you sort of say, okay, I'm going to write this uh, and make it clearer. And then sometimes, um, and then you sort of think, well, okay, then you, ha you have to have a strategy what you're going to do next. But it's really quite crushing. Because, <laughs> you know, you've put a lot of work in your student or your postdoctoral fellow has really invested in, you know, you know, night and day and things like that. And so, you know, and you've put a lot into it. And so to sort of have it, uh, you think it's not appreciated. But actually, the scientific review process, it's not bad. I mean, despite really stupid reviewers sometimes, <laughs> you know, it does force improvements. So, um, so that's a continuing, it, it always goes on, you know, and everybody I know always says it never goes away, which is sort of healthy. That's the way it always should be. Science should always be very subversive. It should never have respect for individuals. Just because you have a Nobel Prize didn't suddenly make you better than everybody else at science per se. It really doesn't. I mean, that's the good thing about the science. It keeps, it's very grounded, right? People remain very critical. And that's healthy, right? Because think of what happens when people get treated like they're God, you know, <laughs> and you know, like, oh, they know everything. It's, it's not healthy, it's, it's not good. So infuriating though it is, it's also, uh, it's, it's quite good.